All right, so we've talked about um, regrouping tens when we subtract, and we've talked about regrouping hundreds when we subtract. For mom and dad, that's called borrowing, okay? We ask our neighbor for help. Hey, neighbor, I need to borrow, okay? This time in lesson six, we may need to borrow or regroup from tens and the hundreds, all right? So this, there's a couple videos here I wanna show you um, that I think you will find helpful in the tens and the hundreds regrouping. Which is equal to ten ones. 
we are left with 400. So 634 minus 159 is equal to 475. This is exactly why I always tell you you have to start with the ones and work your way to the hundreds. You cannot start with hundreds. And it is this reason, either in subtracting or adding, because you have to borrow in subtracting from the neighbor, okay? You can't go backwards. If you don't have enough, you can't take any from there. You have to go forward and look for someone that does have enough. So when you look at the tens, if the tens is bigger, borrow. And that's also why I keep telling you guys you have to cross these numbers out and rewrite them at the top so you don't get confused because the bigger the numbers get, the more confused you might get if you're not crossing things out, okay? At some point, you might be doing this subtraction with thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, okay? So you're going to need to keep track of which ones you're crossing out. So it's very important that you start getting into a habit of doing that and writing down the new number, okay? Um, if you have questions on this, have mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's helping you, have them contact me, and maybe we can Zoom together um, so I can walk you through step by step.